obsessed with French girl chic, you're not alone. We are going to put the French chic style to the test because I snapped some photos while I was over there of just everyday women walking along the street. So we're going to take just a little bit of a deep dive into a French style chic, what it is and a few tips about it. And then we're going to finish up with what Kelly and I actually did in Paris and a little montage. So it's going to be a fun video. So stay to the very end because that's when you will see a lot of what we did in Paris. But first, let's talk about French style chic or French girl chic. There is no doubt many of us are obsessed with France and French style. Just Google French style or French chic and see what pops up. There's loads of advice on the internet and not necessarily from French women and right here on YouTube about looking tray chic on any given day. There are even books titled French women don't get fat and French women don't get facelifts. And there's a current hit show, Emily in Paris, that parlays the differences between French and American culture, all while wearing fabulous outfits traipsing along the streets of Paris. It seems to be a universal consensus that French women are known for having an indisputably chic fashion sense. You don't have to be a diehard Francophile to love French culture and fashion, but women from all over the world strive to match French women's style. So what are their style secrets? What tips and tricks do they have up their sleeve? Is it a secret formula they keep all to themselves? Or were they just born with innate good taste? Simply put, French girl chic or French style is all about looking natural, classy, elegant, and above all, effortless. Let's take a look at what French girl chic is all about. And as I said, I'm sharing street photos I snapped on my recent trip so we can see what French style really looks like in 2023. First up, French women invest in classics. They invest in fewer but better clothes. A black blazer, a great pair of jeans, booties and heels that are classic and cool, a classic cardigan, a silk scarf, and let's not forget button downs and cotton or silk. French women tend to wear their shirts oversized like it was borrowed from their boyfriend. Next, French women take care of their skin to feel confident. I love the fact that beauty and fashion are taught from mother to daughter at a very early age. By taking care of your skin, it looks healthy and you can wear less makeup. French women embrace the beauty of aging, which I find refreshing. Glowing skin is coveted by women across the world and some think French women know it best. Rosy cheeks and a pearlescent natural finish will leave you with a youthful glow. A good skincare routine consists of, again, a few high quality products including cleanser, toner, eye cream, and moisturizer. French women also get regular facials and exfoliate in between. I personally believe vitamins and supplements help us feel our very best and help us in the aging process. Today, I'm pleased to partner with Care Of that have a variety of physical products and digital tools to help you feel better than ever. I was so excited to share Care Of with you as my videographer was the one who shared Care Of to me. I always love to try the latest products, then report back to you. But when someone I know and trust is a big fan, I pay attention. What is Care Of? It's a subscription supplement service that makes it easy to stick to a consistent vitamin routine. What I love and my videographer love is that you take an in-depth quiz then, Care Of tailors the vitamins to you and your lifestyle. Care Of offers research-backed ingredients to support your digestion, stress, and immunity. And since Care Of is a personalized vitamin routine, my vitamin packs have my name on them and a daily quote. It was just that little extra touch and I so enjoy the daily quotes. Since I want to stress less this year in 2023 and feel more in tune with my body, this is what my daily pack of vitamins consists of. 
vitamin D for bones plus immune health, ashwagandha, I think I said that right, for stress and focus, a multivitamin to cover nutrient gaps, as taxifen for skin plus eye health, plus they added two supplements to my routine, superberry for immune health and creatine for athletic performance since I have regular weekly workout routines at Orange Theory and Pilates. Since consistency is key, download CareUp's free app to get personalized guidance, manage upcoming orders, track your routine, and earn rewards. Click the link in the description box to take the quiz and use my code BETHDJ50 for 50% off your first order from CareUp. Let me know if you love them as much as I do and my videographer. The next French girl chic tip is embrace neutrals. French women are so into neutrals, beige, gray, navy, black, and white. When done well, simplicity is all you need, and every solid wardrobe starts with the neutrals. It makes getting dressed in the morning that much easier. French women know to invest in an investment handbag. If there is one accessory item the French invest in, it is a luxury bag. Think classic, sleek styles that will last you a lifetime. Avoid anything with flashy logos. Again, simplicity works. My daughter-in-law Kelly celebrated her birthday when we were in Paris, and she chose to purchase a luxury bag from Saint Laurent. She chose the Lulu bag with black hardware that suits her to a T. It was a lovely afternoon spent with a knowledgeable sales associate and a glass of champagne. My kind of shopping. Next, French women have a go-to uniform. This might be the secret to their unfailing style. French women know exactly what works, what they like, and what they feel comfortable in. When it ain't broke, don't fix it. To make your own uniform, have a go-to outfit combo like jeans, a tee, and a blazer that you know you feel great in. Then buy multiple different styles and colors in those same pieces. I also have a video where I shared winter style formulas and we'll have that linked. Simplicity. French women also know their favorite brands and stick to them. There's no doubt France has had a major influence on fashion with couture houses Chanel, Dior, and Yves Saint Laurent changing fashion forever by introducing us to Breton tees, the little black dress, string of pearls, pencil skirts, and iconic handbags. But they continue to inspire us with new brands too. Here's a few to get you started. Bobby's, Isabelle Morant, Longchamp, St. James, Sandro, Cezanne, The Couples, Zadig, and Voltaire. Now that we've covered the je ne sais quoi of French style, let's take a look at what to do in Paris. I've already shared Kelly and I spent the day in a cooking class and shopping for a luxury handbag, but here are a few more tips and slices of everyday life in Paris. And if you love content like this, where I'm sharing style tips, health and wellness, recipes, hit the subscription box down below. It would so help the channel. First up is Cruise the Seine River. One of the best ways to see Paris and familiarize yourself with it, especially if you're new to the City of Light, is a cruise down the Seine. Most of the public ones are about an hour and a half and narrated so you can learn a lot and see many of the most famous monuments like Notre Dame and the Eiffel Tower while you cruise along. Be sure to buy your tickets in advance. And they even have dinner cruises, and that's what Kelly and I took part in, and we both loved it. Museum Hop. No matter your art preference, Paris has over 100 museums to keep you entertained. And many new and special exhibits begin in the fall, so you can be among the first to enjoy them when you visit Paris. Kelly and I purchased museum passes, which gave us unlimited access to the Musée d'Orsay, and the Louvre. But we also stopped by a quaint little museum in Montmartre. Visit Versailles. Okay, so this is still a sore point for me because we actually missed our tour, our day tour to Versailles, and that was because we were five minutes late to the metro stop. When we were walking over to our destination, there was some construction that was blocking the metro stop, so we couldn't see it. And we decided to take a left on the street when we really should have taken a right. So that put us behind five minutes. And I even texted the tour guide asking for some help because we still had like 10 minutes uh, you know, left to make the tour. And we didn't hear from them. And to make a long story short, by the time we figured out where the metro stop was, they had left without us. So 
I did not get to see Versailles this time, but I recommend that you do. And fall has far less tourists, and the weather should allow you to still enjoy both the palace interiors and the spectacular gardens. And some people have even recommended uh, biking around Versailles. So next time I'm in Paris, I think that's what I'm going to do. And of course, you want to stroll the parks because enjoying the Parisian parks is a favorite no matter the season. Take a cooking class. That's exactly what Kelly and I did. And we went to Les Foodistes and it was a fun filled day. So we met at the cooking class. There are about 10 of us in the class. So our chef, Frederick, took us on a little shopping expedition to the open air market. We picked out all of the ingredients that we needed for our meal, then headed back and whipped up a culinary delight course by course. It was a fun field day. What was on the menu? Ratatouille, baked salmon, and poached pears with chocolate sauce. Visit Montmartre. I love this charming part of Paris. And the Cour de Basilica, I probably have that pronounced incorrectly, but it has a panoramic view of the city streets of Paris. So that alone is worth it. But there are also some beautiful spots in Montmartre. And one is the Hotel Particular, where Kelly and I spent a lovely afternoon having a delicious lunch. So I highly recommend that. And it's also just fun to walk the city streets in Montmartre. There is a Rose Cafe, and I have it on that Emily in Paris has filmed there many, many times. And we snapped a picture of me in front. But, but honestly, put Montmartre on your list of must-sees when you're in Paris. See Paris from a top Arc de Triomphe. If you're blessed with sunny days, pick one of those to do this memorable experience. Go up the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower makes the perfect vantage point to see the fall trees. I have arrived in Paris and I'm going to give you a little tour of my apartment. It's amazing and uh, a little bit of a view from my balcony. So hang on, I'm going to switch it around. I'm going to give you a glimpse before I mess it all up. But very spacious. I just love the tall ceilings that they have here in Paris. Beautiful! And this is the apartment where I'll be staying for the entire week. It is absolutely lovely. It's everything that you would think a Parisian apartment would be. Including the velvet couch. Ready! Two. I'll show a lot of snippets of Paris. It's a beautiful day today. Can't wait to start U.S. in third. Third in Paris, I'm, I'm a little jet lag. Floor in Paris or the third floor in the U.S. So I'm headed out today. I actually slept in, so I got a really good salut and Musée d'Orsay. I think it's on the agenda, so I'll show you a little. want to share because many of you also love to have daily posts delivered directly to your inbox. So we have a newsletter. So here it is. And you can check off the option that you would like. We'll have it linked up down below. And I'd love to have you join the family over at Style to Certain Age. Well, there you go. We wrapped up France and I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and let me know if you really are obsessed with French girl chic. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.